Hey, uh, this is Pokeball35, and welcome to a game called Lunistis. Uh, this is a game that I've had on my long play backlog for a few months. I would say a little bit ago, which ends up being around six months ago, a uh, YouTuber Ant Dude had made a video on hidden Nintendo eShop gems, and this game, Lunistis, was one of the highlights that I was incredibly interested in. Uh, this is a short 3D platformer uh, with a low poly aesthetic, and the game looks really, really cool and really, really good. And he said the game's only $5, and he highly recommends it. So, with my My Nintendo Gold Points, I actually technically bought this game for free using my My Nintendo Gold Points. And I bought this like four or five months ago, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna have this be the long play game for like next weekend. And then the next weekend came, and then the next weekend came, and then the next weekend came. And then five months later, I'm finally playing it. I, I want to play this now, so it's off of my backlog. I've been interested in this game for months, and it's only like maybe like two hours long, maybe three hours if you're like really stretching it. But this game is not long, and I really want to play this. So this is all being streamed live at twitch.tv slash Pokeball35, link in the description down below. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so because I do have a lot to offer, including a lot of other full game playthroughs and etc. So there is a tutorial. Also, I really like this title screen and the music is a vibe and the aesthetic is a vibe. Uh, I guess I could play the tutorial. So we'll see what the game's all about. Stage zero, system trading. <laughs> So, left stick is move. So this is like, we play as this character. I do not know what her name is, but she is adorable. And jump. It's kind of like just a speed run 3D platformer. They want me to double jump both of these. Hold this and attack. Uh, let me know how the volume is. I, uh, did lower it slightly because I did a test recording. Triple jump. Attack in Mater for an even bigger jump. This is, a uh, reset camera behind character. I don't know if the character's name is Lunistus or not. Alternate jump, alternate attack. Okay. I'll stick with the buttons. I don't want to do L and R. Uh, but that's the gist of the game. Chat, is this real? It's very real. Alright. Start a new file. I cannot wait to see what this is about. September 2nd, 2453. Voice acting! Almost a full year of simulations with no tangible results. I'm continuing to do small tweaks to the process, but without deeper understanding of the underlying system. I wish we could contact the professor, but communications are still disrupted. She would know what to do. She is responsible for this whole situation after all. At least my quarantine thread seems to be holding up. It seems like preparations for the next sample loop are complete. Our next case is a scout, Hana who's been showing signs of minimal control over the program. I'm, well, not getting my hopes up anymore, but... Anyway, commencing sample loop in five, four, three, two, one. Stage one, Shrine Home. So I'm assuming we play as Hana, is the character's name. And we're just- we're going. The camera control on the right stick is very snappy. This is me, like, touching it just, like, a little bit to turn the camera. And Hana does not turn very quickly. You have to, like, constantly be... Moving the camera. But this game... Looks... Good... 
and plays good. I got a secret. Oh, until I do that. That one's entirely my fault. Alright, you know what? No. You know what? No. I'm not taking that. We're doing this in one go. Uh, there is rankings on each stage. Uh, which goes up to S rank, which I do know. And in the Ant Dude video, he says if you do S rank up all the stages, <laughs> there is a secret at the end of the game. So we'll see how this goes. These shrine gates are the checkpoints. But it's been a while since I've last played a 3D platformer on the channel. I, since I already collected it, it doesn't count. Okay, good. I mean, I came over here anyway instead. I'm seeing these secrets off the beaten path. A. I'm grabbing all these, like, origami paper cranes along the way. I'm gonna go this way. Pony needs to go straight. Honestly, this controls... It's It feels weird, but also feels precise at the same time. And... I see stuff down there. I think that's where we're going. Unless it wants me to jump down here. I don't know if I was supposed to jump down here, but I am. Also, I'm spelling a word. There's four letters in each level that I'm seeing. Have I missed the last letter? I feel like by jumping down the hole, I did. But I don't know if I did. I feel like I did, because now the level's over. I got A rank. <laughs> On stage one, act two. I may see myself going back and getting the secret stuff. I like to try and 100% a lot of the things that I do on this channel. I'm going this way. Well, this platforming is really good. I think I'm spelling Hana on each level. I need to be finding everything. I don't know if I need to be collecting every single crane or not. This was for a secret. Uh... Do I go that way? That's the way I go. kind of like clenching through all of this. I feel like I'm missing something. I am. There's something down here. I, I think? Oh, I can break the crystals. Didn't realize I could break the crystals. Looks that I can use my attack as a double jump instead of using my double jump, and then I just get the triple jump. If I need it. wants me to move slow here. Oh no. How am I not making that, like, actually? The Bro. The vibe of this area of this game 
Reminds me of a vibe of a, of a specific area from Here Comes Nico, and that is always a good thing. <laughs> that game is also very good. I'm seeing all these side pads. That I call shenanigans on, though. Hey, don't... D don't double jump. This is why they have the move slow option for preciseness. Okay, I got all the letters this time. <laughs> Look at all of these checkpoints in a row. Why are there so many checkpoints? <laughs> Everything's like shattering apart. Alright, well give me my bad ranking. It's still A. Oh, so I have to get... It says... Well, that's my personal best. This is PV. I don't know if collecting all of them counts for S rank. <laughs> so I guess level two. Stage two, act one. So we're on beach, and then act two is summer. Also, these, like, umbrella guys are like a weird, like, yokai enemy. And then there's like, spiky cat dudes. I am aware of like, the umbrella yokai. I don't remember the specifics of it. Ball. Ball. And then we can launch ourselves out of it. Double jump there. I'll get ourselves in this one. Can I get up there? No. That looked like an area for a, a secret of some kind. Going over there and collecting that anyway. Water aesthetic. It would be really cool if, if I was when I was in that bubble, though the music would go would like submerge itself. We are going very high up. Almost missed the jump. <laughs> I like these side pads for all of these things. I thought I was landing on the bottom of the the platform. I was not. I'm supposed to be landing on the tree. Oh wait, that wanted me to go farther, didn't it? Oh no, I was supposed to get out because I think this is a secret path. It is showing... I'm paying attention to the game and not the timer on the side. But the timer on the side shows how many cranes I need. I don't know if that's all of them in the level. Specifically. Or how many I need for like a good like passing S rank. You better believe I'm going over here. Oh, 
I got all the letters that time. Am I three short? Good. Wait! There's a secret back here. What's this? Key! Are we going sinister mode all of a sudden? I didn't know we were doing that. Okay, I have a key. Maybe there's a key in Act 1, and then you use the key somewhere in Act 2? I didn't see a key... ...in the first stage. <laughs> I see that over there, but I don't know if I should still go up. Yep, going up is for secrets. Wait, is it? I don't know. Stop. Stop! No, it was definitely the side path. But what I could do is come over here and grab this <laughs> without grabbing the cranes. That's definitely not what I'm supposed to do. I see... There's just a random area back here for no reason. Wait. Nope, that's something. We are just going places. I cannot tell which is the correct path and which is the side path. This is the side path. There are videos out there of getting S rank on all stages in this game. So I might look at what it takes to like... 100% stage 1. And then I would go back and do that. <laughs> but this game is very satisfying. Almost missed you entirely. collect as many as possible. I see this. <laughs> uh. Crazy stuff. So I need to find where I need to use this key. Alright, well, I was trying to jump. Okay. Majorly got confused. I wanted to get into the water bubble and then I just missed entirely. It just takes you down anyway. You're gonna, I gotta just fall in. I 
I disagree that I'm falling there, but okay. It's very hard to tell which is the side path. I see the end of the level over there. Nope, we're going this way. I must tell you that I incredibly disagree about that. Okay, so here's the A. Where do I use this key, though? My time is already bad. I guess I go back here. I see this. Secret extra platforming where the game gets all glitchy. Okay. What's this? We're going deeper into the code like Pony Island or something. Uh, read file. Okay, this is something that's like... It's reminding me of like the special logs in Splatoon 3 Hero Mode. Uh, opinion. We're all screwed. By Redacted. 200 years. It has been 200 years since we were all cursed by the Moonfall. And for 200 years, our dear global government sat on their collective butts doing nothing, as always. Well, guess what? Uh, dear world leaders, uh, our time is almost run out. Starting today, we have exactly one year, as in 365 days, to still somehow fix everything and not to lose what's left of humanity. Instead of pouring all of our collective resources into the hacks at Neoflux, maybe you should have worked on actual solutions? Whatever, I'm done. I'm done with words. I'm done with everything. Try to enjoy the next year as much as you can, everyone. It'll be your last. And this is and this is to our leaders. Screw you. The lore, which means I definitely missed something in in stage 1. We're missing all the lore. So there's there seems to be 7 levels or 7 worlds and each world is 2 levels. But now we get to go to a carnival! <laughs> Everything's happy in the carnival. Oh, what if I walk backwards? There's nothing there. Okay. I definitely want to go back to the stages and find the lore. Some people don't play games for the lore. I play games for the lore. <laughs> I want to know exactly it is why we're doing what we're doing. Which then makes the experience of doing what we're doing even cooler. Like, Mario Kart has such extensive lore. I play Mario Kart for the lore. Now we have balloons? It felt like I could go to the side there. Ah! Speed! Uh, I- this is the side path, okay. I call shenanigans. Come 
giving me a hat in time balloon popping vibes. Which jumping on the balloons was one of the weaker parts of the platforming of that game. I just have to use the homing attack to get on the balloons in a hat in time. This game does not have a homing attack. I didn't even realize that was an enemy I was looking at. I also saw a side path somewhere over there. Oh, hidden cranes. Oh! Where are we going? Nice wall. Having that wall not be textured on all sides. Interesting choice. <laughs> We're going places. Like I said, this game's only $5 on the eShop. And I bought this with my, my Nintendo Gold Points, so I technically got this for free. That is satisfying. Not realizing the enemy in front of me. Try to pay attention to the bar. Loop de loop. I was gonna say, is the secret lore behind the leveling stage? I'm looking around for the secret lore. It was behind the level in the previous stage, but not this one. If anything, I can look up where the secret lore is. I do not mind doing that. We could possibly go behind us. Well, if I don't have the key from the first level, I probably shouldn't be looking for anything in the second. <laughs> so, I'm actually just gonna restart level. to see what this little thing that's following me is. I still want these cranes. I'm now more expensive experienced platforming gamer. I'm, I'm not looking for the enemies. Putting enemies on this thing is such a rude thing. If only we could, like... Hold on, is that the side path? That's a side path. 
I see these these flag things and I get reminded of the the grappling from Hat in Time. Uh, was there even a letter over here? I think that's just for more cranes. I didn't even see a letter. Big cat spike guy. Okay, I'm, I'm we're just gonna skip him. I saw that! There was something that I just passed, but we're gonna ignore it. That's for the second playthrough of the level. God, it's impossible to tell, though, which way is the right way at first glance. There's a checkpoint over here, so... I'm going too fast! This is some sick platforming, if I do say so myself, though. Like, a lot of this stuff feels right out of Sonic Adventure. Which is, like, one of the only Sonic games I've ever played. Wait. I just realized I never got any of the letters in this entire level, and that was my first one. Where, where were the other letters? <laughs> I missed everything. Alright, well, we have a sweets world. Oh, beat blocks? Beat blocks. Oh, it's at the bottom. Well, if you have beat blocks, your game is already perfect. I don't know if there's anything off to the side. <laughs> now, don't make me miss the cranes. I can't go on that thing. Wait, why would I need that? Is it supposed to be a shortcut? I think it's supposed to be a shortcut over here. This is just a Mario Sunshine platforming area. Right out of uh, Gelato Beach Secret One. Speaking of Mario Sunshine, oh, there's a Mario Sunshine mod. I fell there? Sure. There's a Mario Sunshine mod called Super Mario Eclipse. 
Uh, that's been in development for a few years, and there's been a couple demos that have come out, and I have chosen not to play any of the demos, or really look at many of the demos for Super Mario Eclipse, because I was gonna play it for myself, and I somehow missed the, uh, the other trailer that came out for it recently. It apparently has a confirmed, uh, release date of, uh, June 30th for this year. So that will be a playthrough on the channel up and coming. I don't think it's gonna be a long play game at all, because, uh, according to the trailer, there is 240 shines to collect in that game. So that might actually be, like, a full-on, like, Let's Play series. I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna hope that I'll actually be able to play the game. Because, uh... Some stuff... I believe the same people who made... Who are, were making Eclipse... Uh, we're making, uh, Super Mario Sunburn, which I streamed a few years ago, which is, like, an open-world Mario Sunshine mod. But, uh, there was some secret level, some custom secret, secret levels <laughs> in that game, uh, that were, like, super hardcore platforming challenges meant for, like, masters and speedrunners of the game, and I am not one of those people, so I had no idea how to do those bonus levels, and I didn't end up doing them. So I'm gonna hope there's nothing like that. I missed all the letters again. I see that, though. What's the purpose of those being over there? Okay. They give me a checkpoint here, so they obviously want me to jump over there, but there's nothing there, so... I'll just take my... Take my win. Of my bad ranking. How did I land on that? Uh, one minor complaint is that I wish there was a noise indicator for when these platforms switch according to the beat. Because I can't be looking at the bottom of the screen at all times because I'm paying attention to the rest of the screen. There's a reason why Mario has the noise for it, so it's an indicator for it. I saw something down here. Let me up. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, like, go in accordance with my own jumping. Okay, we got H. Oh god. Okay. We have we have fast platforms now. They're going every beat, not every half beat. Actually, I guess, I guess these are half beats and not every beat now. Uh, I don't know how the hell I want to do this. Like, maybe I just worry about one color. Yeah. 
Or I can just skip them all together. Triple sugar threat. That's shenanigans. You can tell that that's shenanigans because it's shenanigans. Go on every beat where the spikes are, are located. That's the that's the plan. I can't see what's happening. <laughs> this does not feel like the way I want to be moving. There we go. I knew there had to be something over here. Can't believe they took this Donkey Kong Country mechanic. Yeah! It's not on beat. I felt that one coming, that's why I jumped to the other platform last time. Gotta get out of the way entirely for that. I can break these crystals, but there's really... Oh, I couldn't tell where the floor was. I walked right there because it looked like there was floor. I see you down there. level is also very long. Okay, there's other other of these things right at the end of the level at both levels. So it has, I feel like, it, I don't know if it's a background element or not. <laughs> but I got the, all the letters this time. Moving on to Autumn Mushroom World. Forest Melancholy. Ooh, that's a... It's crusty. But like, that's part of the aesthetic, because it's, it's supposed to look crusty. I think. It's supposed to be autumn leaves and stuff. And tree bark, but in this game's art style, it looked very crusty and hard to look at. Oh, we're doing this again. I couldn't tell what this was. We're doing... Super Sonic Grinding.
I have to attack these to do something with them. I saw a cranes down at the bottom of the level. I see cranes on the side of the level. Oh, it's like active. I think that's activating the the side rail. <laughs> oh, I act. I hit this and it activated the rails. So then I have to go off the stage later and hit the rail again, <laughs> which I think I've now actually unlocked. So I can just jump to it. <laughs> nice. I don't know how much I like that because it stops my momentum. I saw that and I wanted to go to it. Yeah, perfect ranking. Uh, not so much. <laughs> I saw that and I wanted to come over here. There we go. The letter A. But everything is very satisfying. Some people could get some, some Sonic vibes from how speedy everything is. I didn't see the mushroom there. Uh, I don't enjoy playing the Sonic games because for some reason they advertise Sonic as like super speedy platform guy. But there's so much game design in the Sonic the Hedgehog series that is like designed to stop your progress in your track so you don't go too fast and you have to stop and do like like slow platforming this game is just non-stop movement and non-stop speedy platforming and i like that a lot about this Even when I- even when I do have to slow down, it just feels a lot more satisfying to control. Until that happens, where I feel like I should have hit that. Also, I'm only missing one crane. I definitely never got all the cranes on the level, there's definitely cranes I feel like I missed. But it's should be that right there. Is that actually all of the cranes in the level? That would be crazy if it was. Oh, we're going glitchy. I found the maybe this the secret lore only unlocks if you get all the cranes. I don't know. Cause we got the key. Like, getting the key seems to end the level, so it makes sense that it's at the end of each level. But the, it didn't- I didn't see it at the end of some others. 
Uh, what's interesting is that there's no music playing right now. When I really feel like there should be pl music playing. <laughs> going to three different areas and I'm grabbing all the cranes. When I, I had, I've had this game installed on my Switch for a while, so when I tried to open this up earlier, it did install an update. But this game has had music in every level up to this point, so this doesn't feel intentional. Now it's just kind of... Slightly. I saw that bubble. I also have like a, a thing at the top of the screen that I don't know what it is. the end. Okay, so I, I did something with that. Oh, here we go. It was definitely intentional. The music is going to build up as I collect the things in the level. <laughs> Which I kind of like, actually, because now we're starting with a drum beat and then the, the music is going to get progressively more hype throughout it. So there's two, there's 516 cranes in this level. I see you. I think it wanted me to go to the side. I don't know. I got an A. Alright, here we go. I'm not minding collect not collecting every single thing. this over here. <laughs> what 
What is this for? Do I keep going up? Well, hold on. Well, I can grab this. But they give me this. What's this for? Why am I over here? Um... I think I might know what that was. I'm... I already hit the checkpoint, so jumping off isn't gonna do anything. I think I know what that's for. And that's for, like, speedrunning the level. So you don't have to go down, like, every single path. Because now, this sent me down a path that I've already been down. And I've already collected the, the thing on this side of the level, so now I have to go, like, all the way back again. I feel like putting this here, though, is, like, extremely misleading. Because I was like, is this an area where I need to go? I don't know. I'm going to take the path. Like, they specifically put a bouncy mushroom with a paw print on it. For the sole purpose of doing something. It's going to make my time on the level go really far down. Because this takes me back to this one. Uh, I'm gonna hope the left side here is where I needed to go. I don't remember which one was what. <laughs> yeah, I think it was this one. Mr. Crane. I mean, now I don't need to take the second path. Because the second path was way. <laughs> I can go down this thing now. Let's me get more cranes. Again, that's just a weird choice. I think I think it was intentional to do that. For like other purposes. High above the tree. High into the clouds. Okay, it was back the secret was back here before. I was just taking a look. I'm just missing one letter. I disagree that I died there, but okay. I literally jumped off of that one before. Close to the allotted amount. I saw that. Got the last letter. No, oh, but I see that. Nice 10 minute level for me. I still got B, which is higher than I thought it would be. 
uh, uh, home cat audio something dot text. Uh, this is it, Luigi. Uh, we played with fire and burned everything. We may have stopped the moonfall, but only by smashing everything to pieces. All it took was a small glitch in a rushed system. Most of my loved ones, most of my team is gone. Alive, yes, but I, I can't lose hope. Communications are completely cut off from everyone, but we should have a local backup of central archives. Maybe I can find something in there that'll help us out. We have to find a way to fix this. The snow level. Peak? This game is peak. Cake platforming. Oh. Tornado gusters. platforms to climb up. <laughs> I disagree that I'm falling there. Some of these Deaths don't feel like they're my fault. And so this game has slightly tight and slippery controls, which is why they give you the option to hold ZR to do very precise platforming, but it also makes you very slow like this. Something I didn't feel like bringing up, but I'm going to bring it up anyway to, to speak about something. It's very recently, we all know about Undertale Yellow and how amazing that fan game is. I did a whole playthrough of the Pacifist route, and it's on the channel now if you have missed it. I do plan on doing the other routes eventually, soon eventually. Uh, but the uh, Undertale Yellow team... Uh, put up some of their music on SoundCloud a few weeks ago. <laughs> and when this happened, the CEO of Materia Collective, or if you, if you don't know what Materia Collective is, it's like the company that, like, distributes Undertale's music. So that Toby Fox doesn't have to do it himself. But, like, Materia Collective fucking sucks at everything they do. Uh, because for years, Undertale music has been copyright claimed by Materia Collective on YouTube. Like, if you're- if I'm playing through Undertale as an example, they'll, like, claim random things. Like, um, also I somehow missed two letters. Maybe it's if you get all the letters in a level is when the, the thing unlocks. I don't know. Uh, but, like, I've played, like, The Binding of Undertale on stream before, and I have some videos of that. 
and I it has like Deltarune stuff in that Isaac mod, and it, I like Scarlet Forest <laughs> and Field of Hopes and Dreams are like two examples of Deltarune tracks that get claimed. But a few years ago, Toby put out a statement saying this should not be happening if you do get a copyright claim on any video featuring Undertale music. Uh, dispute it, and it should be solved relatively quickly. But when Undertale Yellow uploaded some of their songs to SoundCloud, uh, the CEO of Materia Collective had like a literal, like, a literal baby rage fit. Okay, had a literal baby rage fit on Twitter, uh, saying that this, uh, them, the Undertale Yellow team using music from Undertale should not be allowed, and anything related to that is gonna get copyright claimed. And no one liked this, and he's been like, he's been like non-stop responding to people on Twitter, saying that he's in the right about everything because he's the CEO of the company or whatever. And uh, nobody liked this, and the Undertale Yellow team said they had explicit permission from Toby Fox when they started development of the game uh, seven years ago to, to do what they need to do. And then the CEO's like, if you show me explicit proof that Toby Fox said seven years ago that you could use these songs, I will donate uh, $10,000 to the Undertale Yellow team. And then an official statement came out uh, from Toby Fox saying that the Undertale Yellow team was explicitly allowed to do this. And then the, the CEO guy never actually paid up. <laughs> on anything. So earlier today, an official statement came out from Toby Fox again, uh, pretty much saying that the CEO person is a, is a massive asshole. I'm not, I'm paraphrasing, and I'm saying it in my own words, but TLDR, he's a massive asshole and handled the situation so poorly that Toby Fox is donating $20,000 to a charity of the Undertale Yellow Team's choice. I somehow missed that. So, hopefully the situation is now resolved. Undertale Yellow stuff should not be copyright claimed on YouTube. I'm gonna go over here. Hopefully, in the future, Undertale Music will stop being randomly copyright claimed on YouTube as well. Uh, I saw a video recently, if you want to see, like, the full details of this that, like, breaks it all down, I saw a video recently called Undertale's Music is in Copyright Hell. It's a very good video that details the whole situation. It was released, like, a week or two ago. So it doesn't have, like, the full, full story from now. But if you don't jump off of this thing, you just don't have the ability to jump. Also, I was just saying, grinding off of those, or like, doing something with the, those flag things, like uh, Alpine Skyline and A Hat in Time, it, it actually happened. We're doing that right now. And like, while all of this stuff was like, being dealt with in the background, and like, the CEO person knew it was happening because he was involved with the stuff going on in the background, he was still responding to people on Twitter about the situation, saying that he was right. And like, what really drove the whole thing home is that like a day or two ago, one of the CEO person, I'm not, I don't even want to say his name out loud because I don't like him, but this, one of this guy's like, colleagues, uh, like tweeted out, like pretty much like, dude, we've been friends for years, we've we've gone on business ventures together. You were totally in the wrong. Please stop doing this. It's stupid. Uh, why is this back here? It might it might be something related to getting all of the all the the letters in the level or something because there should be something there and there isn't. Well, the final world, the moon. I feel like I really want to go back to the other levels and find the lore before doing the moon. But I'm doing the moon. 
like, despite not knowing the full context of the lore here, now we have all types of paper cranes. This game has been incredibly satisfying to play through. Like, even if you don't know what's going on, the game just feels good to play. I see that. Oh, okay. What what felt like a secret, a secret side path, <laughs> was actually not a secret side path. It was, in fact, actually an area you're supposed to backtrack to if you fall down. They literally... Okay, well that's why they have this here. I was expecting it to be a triple jump. Alternate pathways on Rainbow Road. Oh, disappearing platforms. Ah! Some of the level design here reminds me of a tr of a trailer I've seen for a different game I wanted to play on the channel called Frog a Fro Gun Frog Gun. It's like a a, a fun another low poly 3D platformer about. Like a girl who has a, a frog gun or something. I don't know exactly the specifics, but that game, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like entirely enjoy it, so I didn't, I haven't bought that game yet. But maybe frog gun, frog gun will be something that I play in the future. I don't feel like I should have died. I feel like if you fall off the level, the game should just, like, insta-restart you. So you don't have to fall forever. It's like, yeah, I know that I'm falling. I like the rainbow assortment of cranes. These guys feel like they're pointing backwards. Attention to the guys on the road. I'd also like to mention I have not seen a single letter yet. It feels like I'm close to the end of the level. You have, like, a little bit of leeway to jump off of this thing. Earth! I 
I know that one. anything else. I don't see anything else. They let me destroy these crystals and I still don't know if there's like anything related to them. I didn't find a single letter. <laughs> that entire level. Something. Okay. Infinity. I thought it was gonna be a boss fight. Maybe it is a boss fight. Cause I see it in the distance. The, the only context I have going on here is from the floor that we've seen so far is that someone made something go horribly wrong and Hana seems like the person who can fix it. I don't think Hana's the professor that they were talking about. I saw something down there. That's what I saw. And we're doing the awesome thing of going through all the world's mechanics, probably. There's no cranes in this level, so it's just pure platforming. Yep, now we're, we're going backwards through all the game's mechanics. Which is still hype. Now we're doing balloons. And water slides. I mean, granted, these fast moving sections have been in like nearly every world. For a game like this, I kind of wish the lore wasn't optional. Because like I said before, knowing why I'm doing what I'm doing makes me more engaged in the stuff that I'm doing. Because yeah, the platforming here is like top-notch platforming and like really good and speedy. I don't know why exactly I'm here. Welcome to white space. So something happens here when I get all of the, the logs. So I will try and go back and find the lore.
I pissed on the moon, you idiot! The moon's back. Congratulations, you beat the game. Now play it again, with a bunch of different characters. Okay. What do you mean a bunch of different characters? <laughs> uh, gameplay. <laughs> uh... Where is my option to do so? I don't know where my option to do so is. You say, give me a bunch of different characters. I didn't see an option. Oh, it's back here. I fell down here, but I didn't see it last time. For that letter. So now we'll complete the rest of this. So we got all the cranes, and we got all the letters. Whichever one I did, I don't know, it unlocked the, the glitchy secret in the back. So there's the key. So I believe I have all of the glitch- all of the letters on the second level. So now I think I just need to just beat the level. So does having all the letters matter, or do I need to collect all the cranes? I think it's just the letters. Because here's the path. I want to say collecting all the, cr the cranes is for S-ranking each level. So we have this. Uh, correspondence something dot text. Hey, uh, hey mom, hey dad, <clears throat> dun 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 dun, guess what, I did it, I finally made it into the, the recon unit. The days of endless drills are finally over, well, kinda, I guess. Anyway, I really want to celebrate this with you guys, but I still might, still might take a few weeks until I'm allowed to go home for a while. But that just gives you enough time to prepare yourself for the biggest cake ever. Oh, I'll actually bring along someone I met during uh, during training. We finished our training at the same time, actually. Though it seems like she wants to get uh, get into special ops later down the line. She's pretty rad. Uh, also, she has the sweetest uh, accent. European, I think. Maybe? I never really asked. There's also a second page of this. Oh, uh, and Dad, don't worry. I'll be fine. Really, Mom, please tell Dad that I'll be fine. And say hi to <coughs> for me. Love you. Redacted. Was there a second page to this one? No. Alright, so we already have everything in the beach level. So... I think I already have the key, don't I? I just need to find the letters in stage 2, or act 2 of stage 3. <laughs> no, I don't have the key. Then... Where's the key? In the other level, then. Okay. It's up there. I saw it. I have to jump on the trees to get up here. Maybe that did show up last time and I just didn't see it. I'd have to review my footage. So there's our key. Then we go to Act 2, and I only have one letter here. 
I think maybe? Unless I did come down here. Oh no, I commented on how there it felt like there should have been a secret over here and there wasn't. So is, oh, it's right over here. I completely missed it. It's like a side path on the side path. <laughs> so is this the H? Because if it's the H, then we're on the right track. It is the H. So I have not missed anything yet. Now where's everything else? I know I remember seeing a secret off the off to the side in this like right after this area. Yeah, right over here. Hey, all right, so I'm just missing the N. So where is the N located? I think I went over here last time, so I'm gonna go this way. I felt like I had a lot more speed then I didn't. I did not have the speed that I thought I did. There's the end. So we'll see if getting all the letters and having the key spawns the thing. I put me on top of an enemy and that enemy didn't kill me. Oh, perfect. It sends me back over here. As before, I couldn't tell what the side path was. I thought that was going to put me on top of the green balloon. It, in fact... Did not put me on top of the green balloon. Unless that's the color blue. It's like half blue, half green. <laughs> Launch me. Okay, did we get the funny path? Uh, oh, ah. you can still fall there. It blocked me off from going that way, and now we have the glitchy pathway. I was expecting that to be a, you know, like a full-blown <laughs> uh, thingamajig there, and not, I have to jump there, but if you jump too late, you don't actually get the ability to jump, and then Hana just falls. So this ends very abruptly. Here's the next log. Uh, read file. Uh, some sort of, uh, redacted, uh, email addresses. Uh, introducing Project Lunistis. Title drop. 
Professor, I write this with the utmost respect for you and your team's work, but after reading your research notes, I have numerous doubts about the viability of your project, and I am not even talking about the sheer number of safety concerns. I am aware that our time is running out quickly, but trying to save our future using not only the not only drastic but highly untested methods you proposed is very concerning. Of course, you still have the full support of my team, as always, but I implore you rethink your approach to Lunistus. There has to be another way. Respectfully, uh, Dr. Ito Yasu, NFI Research and Development, Japan. Interesting. Uh, I got all the letters here, but not here. So I gotta find A and N in level 1. Oh, there's a secret path over here, though, <laughs> that I did not see because it was blending in with all the triple sugar threat trees. There's the A, the sec- or the first A out of the two A's. It really felt like there was supposed to be something over here, which is why I was checking before, but I didn't see anything of, of note. Like, why have this and then not, not have secret on the side of it? Actually, I don't think I noticed this side path the first time. This has to be where the N is. That is, in fact, where the N is. Now we just gotta get to the end of the level. It is down the side path. That's why those things were there. It looked like they had some sort of importance, and I didn't know what the importance was. <laughs> Alright, well, the good thing I have a checkpoint there. I was like, I didn't know where to jump to. There we go. So there's our key. We now need to speed run level two. <laughs> I saw some stuff recently. I in the same uh, thing that I found it about uh, Super Mario uh, Eclipse's full release date. There was a recent Nintendo fan games fan direct. That happened a few weeks ago. Okay. And I somehow didn't even see it. But there was a lot of Pikmin stuff in there. And there is some uh, Pikmin 2 ROM hacks that are coming soon. <laughs> okay. That have a lot of cool custom stuff in them. Like, namely Puffman Quest, which I've already known about. But there was another trailer for Puffman Quest. And like... Puffman Quest actually looks, like, insane for Pikmin 2 standards. Like, I remember back when 251 was, like, considered high class. <laughs> I cannot wait for the inevitable release of Pikmin Squared, whenever the heck that's gonna be. But that's also incredibly technically impressive. I thought I'd land on that platform. Uh, I have not played Bob Is You, but I have seen probably, like, Vinny Vine Sauce play Bob Is You. Like, ar probably around the time it first released. I know it's a very interesting game about, like, programming the game itself. <laughs> so, maybe eventually...
when I load it up uh, to 16, I do know there's a good amount of Delta Rune music in 216, which definitely gets me hype because Delta Rune music. Alright, where's the glitchy path? We're nearing the end. Oh, it has some, probably something to do with those over there. Oh my god, this checkpoint is so far away from where I was. <laughs> Falling there is, like, incredibly aggravating. I just drop down without having to worry about that thing. I, I missed the checkpoint entirely, that's why I teleported so far back. I went down the, the water bubble and I missed the checkpoint. Okay, where is the thing? There it is. Oh, this is interesting. This is... This reminds me of a Hat in Time custom level I played, like, a few years ago. <laughs> there was definitely a mechanic just like this in one of those. I'm trying to skip it outright, but by trying to skip it outright, I don't have enough height to make it over there. I just do that. I was overcomplicating it so much. Awful. Alright, we got the thing for here. So, correspondent, something. Hey guys, so there's been more news. It seems like uh, Very and I have been selected for Project Lunistis. For some reason, I guess we managed to impress some, some of the higher-ups or something. But that also means I'll probably not come home for a while. Sorry, Emoticon. I know that sometimes that times are rough right now and all, but I really want to believe in this project. It's pretty much our only hope, so I guess. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll be fine as always. And when we get, uh, and when we kick the moon's butt, I'll come back home for good. Promise. Please take care, everyone, and stay safe. Love you, Hana. This is a message from the protagonist that we're playing as. Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> Which is why the moon is like the final boss. Uh, I only got two letters here and two letters here, so we have to replay both of these. But we need to play or uh, find the stuff at the back half here. I'm slowing down a little bit over here. Let me up. Very precise. Very precise. And there's the N. So where's the last path? It felt like there was something over here that I missed and I didn't know if there was because of the way the paths are split here. Like, they have this whole, like, upper section. Oh, is this the secret? No, this goes back down. <laughs> Wait. That's the secret, though. Hold on. Didn't notice this.
There's the A. So now we just beat the level and grab our key. Which is right over here, and it unlocks the path for us. I don't want to get absolutely blowy joeyed here. There we go. Alright, now we need the... first and last one on level 2. So I gotta pay attention to where the heck this is. Do not hit me. Oh, it's probably right here, and I just didn't even notice. I, s I remember seeing the, the blue out of the corner of my eye, but I never, like, double thought about the blue line. So there's the H. Now we just gotta get to the end of the level and find the last one. But it's this right here. <sighs> yep, this launches me to somewhere new. Do they want me to precisely platform off of this? There we go, there's the A. And this is the end of the level right here. I didn't hit that checkpoint, so please don't make me fall. Ugh. Alright, so it should be... <laughs> all the way behind here. Yep. This is our last log. Our last bit of lore. over that. And there we have it. So our last one. I think I sort of understand how the general system works now. I lack a deeper understanding of everything that goes on into Lemistus. But I may be able to start the start with selecting a handful of test cases and just observe them for now. It seems like the afflicted are kept in some sort of uh, accelerated REM cycle by the program uh, where they're fed parts of the original training data over and over again. Thinking about it, that would explain how they were so effective against the moonfall during, well, everything. I must find a way to break them out of this feedback loop safely. The experiments will start tomorrow morning. We go to the last level and redo it so we can go see the secret. Alright, we made it back to white space. <laughs> we have all of the secrets acquired for our massive knowledge of Hana and Project Lunistis, which seems to be some sort of science project related to trying to save the world from an evil moon. Or something. There's definitely things about this that I'm not entirely understanding. But... What does this do for us? Oh, that's actually a log for this area. I'm recording and transcribing this for all global NFI branches in case communications get restored. I think I found a way to fix this. All of this. I must advise beforehand, this procedure must not be performed on afflicted uh, where Entity B is active. It seems like a small handful of patients, while being stuck in the feedback loop of Lunistus, were able to withstand 
the uh, fluence of the entity for these special patients in the utmost importance to get them into a lucid state by making them remember parts of their past and most importantly their selves. As such, the original training data that gets executed in perpetuality can be edited in small ways. Opening back doors to specific fragments of data, reminding patients of who they are. Uh, as soon as they reach this state, they should be able to free themselves from Lunistus. I will prepare the details of the procedure in, in a separate document. I'm aware... Uh, I'm aware that it might be a bit too early to celebrate all of my patients, uh, as all my patients are still comatose, but one of our cases, Hana, has been showing tremendous progress in just a few cycles. I think she might just need another push. Please remember, Hana. Remember who you once were. So there was some world-ending thing that is putting a bunch of people into, like, a comatose stasis, and there's some sort of, like, simulation computer program thing going on, because Hana was, was sleeping somewhere, and then came to all of these, like, magical world areas. Is to what my understanding is happening, and we have to, like, beat up the moon so that the moon go comes back. Because of the, the moon came back in the regular ending. <laughs> but one more level. Stage 7, Act X, System Override. <laughs> Everything is just basic geometrical shapes with no textures. Oh, the moon has eyes. It's definitely some sort of evil moon. I know things are very vague in this game. I wish I had a- I wish I was smarter enough to understand the full scope of the story. But maybe it's intentionally uh, made to be vague. I still don't know what this, like, green orb that's been following me the whole game actually is. Oh! Platform come back. I just noticed my, my score counter is uh, not quite correct right now. the reason why we've been collecting all of the the Hana letters to unlock these secrets. <laughs> Something since Hana's been comatose, possibly has like amnesia or something, and we're like bringing her back. if I hit the moon now, huh?
The moon doesn't come back and Hana's gone. Because we're here. And that is Lunistus. Um, I don't really know what to say about this game because the, like, it's very, very short. This took about two and a half hours to beat the whole game and then go back and collect everything that I missed. And... The platforming is phenomenal. The controls are very good. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky, in my personal opinion. Uh, but for the most part, like the platforming is really good and every single level is fun to play through. I still think the, the hitting the mushrooms to unlock the grind rails mechanic is not my favorite. I just tend to, for some reason, miss a lot of the jumps on there and it doesn't feel like my fault. A lot of the other jumps do feel like my fault. Some call me Johnny's in the special thanks for this game. That's cool. Uh, thanks for playing my little game, even though it didn't quite hit the goal of it uh, being a quick 30-day project uh, I make in my free time. I still enjoyed making it a lot, and I hope, and I truly hope all of you had a good time with it as well. Development for the next game will hopefully not be as chaotic as this one. It probably will, though. In loving memory of Shawnee Brill. I finally did it, Mom. I don't want to make fun of that last name. Rest in peace to that person, who I'm assuming is the game developer's mom. I mean, for such for such a small project, game developer, you did a fantastic job with Lunistus. Um, is Lunistus on Steam? Because I'm very curious if it is, because I want to read... Like, a Steam description of it. Uh, Lunistus is on Steam. Uh, Lunistus is a 3D platform recreated with simple and fun gameplay as a cute PS1 slash Sega Saturn inspired art style in mind. Take the role of Hana the Tanuki and jump and fight through her dreams. That makes more sense. Wow, this didn't age poor. Uh, this didn't age poorly at all. One of the reviews is, uh, it's censored, so I'm going to uncensor it. It says, "Buy this fucking game. I'm coming to your house and kicking you square in the nuts." Fuck. Uh, review from Gerard the Completionist. <laughs> that didn't age well, at all. <laughs> um. About this game, Lunisus is a linear 3D platform that is heavily inspired by the 32-bit era of yesteryear. Follow Hana the Tanuki on an adventure through her dreams, explore the different dreamscapes to guide her to her final destination, the moon, and try to uncover the secrets of Lunistus along the way. Multiple different dreamscapes created from Hana's memories. Jump and run through an old shrine, a fancy water park, or a world made out of food. Lunisus is designed as a simple and short experience that you can easily play on a short in short bursts. Have fun and enjoy the vibes. Try to beat the fastest times and the highest completion to get an S rank on every stage, and if you're looking for some additional variety, play the whole game as different characters with their own skills and gameplay. Well, I want to figure out how do you get the other characters. How do I get the other characters? Here, character. Here we go. So Hana, standard gameplay, attack plus triple jump, not a fox. Uh, Tori, no attack, dies in one hit, runs very fast, cute burb. From Tori 3D slash Tori 2. Uh, Toki, uh, can't jump very well, can flap, uh, wings three times, uh, very quick attack, kinda got lost while exploring. Uh, from Halamento, so characters on other games. Uh, I will quickly play level one as... Oh, it's its own separate campaign. Okay, so I guess I'll just do this. I don't think it's different levels. I think it's just... I play the game... differently. It's 
So in uh, one of Ant Dude's other eShop videos, he did do a review of the game that this character comes from. This feels like the speedrun character. He physically cannot attack anything, so it's just going as fast as possible. I'm kind of curious if, like, the story is different in any meaningful way while playing as this, this, this dude. But I don't feel like it's gonna be. Because the, the story might still revolve around Hana. But hey, I beat this level in under a minute without dying. I'm not gonna go through this whole game again, because it just took two and a half hours to get through. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, exit level. And back. And character, we'll try Toki. Which is its also own separate campaign. <laughs> so look at me. I have, like, a samurai sword. It's kind of cool that the, the extra characters in this game are from other indie games. But I have a quad jump as this character. I like the wide attack range as well. With this, I can kind of, like, skip the level design. Actually... I don't see the Hana letters on the side of my screen. Let's go this way. So there's no extra collectibles. The main story is just for Hana, so you can't even get, like, the true ending. As the other characters. But having a quad jump... ...is very cool. They can kind of just... Skip this area entirely. Actually, shit. I wanted to get that. That felt like a cool shortcut to take. I personally don't like doing like speed running through a level trying to get like the best possible rank in a level. But this is a great game. for people who want to do that. I'd love to actually watch a speedrun of this. <laughs> but this is very cool, and very fun, and a nice optional challenge for anyone who wants it. 100%- you could like 300% this game, 100% it is Hana, uh, and the other two characters. Uh, but that is it! For Lunistus, I'd call that 100% complete. Even without the S ranks, I'd still call it 100% complete. Uh, this was a great little thing to go through. And again, this game is on Switch and on Steam for $5. This is an incredibly worthwhile $5 game. And I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I don't think there's any much else that I can say about this game. Other than that, it's very, very good. Uh, this was all streamed live at twitch.tv slash pokeball35, link in the description down below. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so, because I do have a lot to offer. Uh, this is the first long play game I'm playing for 2024, and I'm glad I finally got this out of my backlog, because for a game being so short, I just didn't give myself the time to play it until now. Uh, stay tuned for all the other long play stuff that I plan on playing throughout 2024. Check the long play playlist for anything else you may have missed. There are full game playthroughs uh, in either one, uh, one or two parts usually. There's some stuff I did Bayonetta th 3 as a long play thing, so that's like four parts. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I recently did Undertale Yellow and a whole bunch of other things. Go check the playlist. Check out everything else I have on the channel, etc. And go buy this game yourself. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in whatever comes next.